Welcome back to IASTEC. In this video, I will show you how to generate Angular component by using Angular CLI. I will show you very basic example and at the end I will show you several options that we will use in the Angular CLI. We will also go through every option available in Angular documentation. Right now I have a very basic application running on my local uh, server yeah, that you can see it is very basic application with basic component. We will work on this app and we will start adding component with the help of CLI. You can see we have a shared folder and the shared folder we have the shared module and we will be adding the header component in this shared module and then we will uh, import that shared module in the component or module where you want to use it so for example if i want to use in the app module then i have imported the shared module in the app module now open a new terminal where you will type the angular cli command to generate your component type ng generate component you can also use the short forms that is NGGC and then type the name of the component that you, that you want to generate. In this case, we want to generate header. So let's press enter. You can see that component has been generated and it has declared that component in the app module automatically and it also generated the header folder in the root directory of the app folder now we want to generate this header component inside the shared folder instead of the root directory of the app folder so for that i will just delete the header folder and i will generate uh, the component again for that command would be same but we will just have to provide uh, uh, the path of the folder for the shared module so it is just shared slash and then you can mention the component name and in this way it will generate the header component inside the shared folder as you can see also if you notice that it has declared the header component inside the shared module this time last time it declared this header component in the app module but this time it has declared it inside the shared module next if you don't want to create uh, the header folder uh, if you just want to throw files in the shared folder then there is another way to generate uh, the command would be same but you just have to provide an additional flag uh, that is called flat so just type the command with the, that additional flag now you should notice that the component is generated but this time it did not generate the folder so this is the way that you can skip the folder creation i will generate the header component again with the folder uh, so i am going to delete it and generate it again now i want to use my header component inside the client uh, component so for that i would have to import the shared module and make sure that your header component is exported in the shared module already 
so after you import it then go back to your file html file and add the selector for the header component and then you will see that it will start working you can see that the content of the header file is showing now now we will go through some other uh, available options for this uh, uh, component generation command for that i have opened the documentation uh, in the official website of angular and here you can see that there are a lot of uh, commands available but right now we want to focus on the component uh, command so click on that and here you will see you will see all of the options on the first line you can see that it has ng generate c our component after that we want we specify the name of the component and the below you can see we have all of the options available that we can use so i will go through uh, one by one uh, for every option i will try to not to go in the depth but i will try to quickly use almost every one for you so that you can understand how to use them so very first option is the change detection for that i am going to delete the header component and i will generate it again along with that flag or option to see what difference it makes so after clearing the old code for the header i am going to generate it again so this is the same command but this time i am going to add this new option so just copy and paste by the way if you look at uh, the documentation it uh, gives uh, uses the default value as the default value and uh, you can use other options as well if you want for example it has either default or on push on push you can use one of them so i'm going to use on push to see what change it makes in our component ts file so let's open the header dot component dot ts file and on the line number seven you will notice that we have a new line that is saying change detection with the on push strategy so that's the change that you will notice with this option next option is display block so if you don't mention it in your command then it will be false by default but if you make it true then it will add this default code for you in the sas or css file for you so it is saying it will add host and display block style to the host that's it so let's try it so after a component is created go to the css sas file and you will notice that this code has been added by itself automatically because of a display block option so that is the function of this option next we are going to try the option export so with this option it will export your component automatically so first it uh, was declaring the component for you but uh, this time it will export it as well for you next option is inline style by default its value is false uh, so if you make it true then it will not create any CSS or SAS file for you but it will uh, give you option to write inline style in your TypeScript TS component. After a component is created, you will notice that the CSS file is not created. Uh, only three files were created. And now if you go to the header.component.ts file, you will notice that no CSS file was mentioned here. And instead of that, it is providing an array so that you could add inline styles here. Next, we will discuss the inline template. This is almost same like inline style by default its value is false but uh, if you make it true then it will uh, not create the html file for you it will allow you to create uh, to type the html inline inside your component file so as i have mentioned inline template and uh, so this time you will notice in the 
header folder that there is no CSS and HTML file because we have added to, uh, provided two flags in our command. So it has skipped CSS file and HTML file. And if you go to the header.component.ts, then you will notice that it is now using template literals so that you could type HTML right here in this file instead of instead of the external file. Next, I will try the skip test option. With the help of that option, uh, it will not generate the spec file. So but it creates this file by default, but if you want to skip it, you can skip with this option. Next, I will use the module option. So with the help of module option, if you specify the name of module and press enter, then it will use uh, that module to declare your component. For example, if I want to declare my header component inside the app module, then I will say dash dash module space app. And in this way, it will declare my component inside the app module. Next option is the prefix. With the help of this option, you can change the selector prefix. For example, right now it pre adds app as the prefix for every selector. But if you uh, literally specify your own prefix, then instead of adding app, it will use the word that you uh, literally specified as the prefix. So if you go to the ts file you can see that now it is it has selector xyz header next we have the option selector so this if you use it then you will basically replace the entire selector with your own custom name so it is different than prefix uh, if you provide the selector then uh, it will use the exactly same name that you provide as the selector so as here i am providing hello world so with this way it will uh, just use hello world in the selector area as you can see here so that's it about this option next we also have uh, the uh, skip selector option if you use it then uh, it will not add the selector property for your component so in this way you you will not have any selector for your component so it can be useful in some cases but uh, in uh, our existing case that we are currently using header we want we mostly uh, add header in components with the help of selector but if you don't have any selector then it will not work so you should not uh, skip the selector uh, for such components but you can skip it if you need it next we have a very important option that is style so if you don't mention style then it will use the default value that is css it will generate css file or it will use the other type of file for styles uh, that you have specified while generating your project for example you generated your project with the help of cli uh, and at that time you mentioned that you want scss then it will by default use the scss option and it will generate the scss file or sas file but if you want to change and if you want to use the uh, option less then you have to literally specify that while generating this component so let's uh, uh, generate this component again along with the option style and see what happens so <clears throat> i entered less and uh, pressed enter and in the header folder you will notice that the file css file with the less extension has been generated so that's all about it you can also generate other kind of uh, styles or you can use none if you don't want to generate any css file for example i you can see that it did not generate the css file at all and also in the ts file you will see that it is not referring to any css file so also you can use CSS or SCSS or SAS options if you want to. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, I hope that this video was useful for you. If you have any kind of questions, then please don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section. And also 
please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon thank you for watching see you next time